Okay, so let's see if you remember enough math to be able to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go and read it. It is the following. An elevator can fit 4x people and moves 176 people in 22 trips. What is the elevator's capacity? And an elevator's capacity is how many people it can fit inside in any one trip. Okay, so feel free to use a calculator. And if you can figure this out, if you have your answer, put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, here is the problem. And look here, we have this variable 4x. Maybe we need to use some algebra. What do you think? Well, first, let's just go ahead and see the answer. So we have this information. What is the elevator's capacity? Well, it, the correct answer is eight people. Okay, so that is the elevator's capacity. So it can fit uh, eight people at any one time inside the, um, or up to eight people inside the elevator. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you figured this out, I have to give you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100%. And multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in solving basic math word problems. Now they very well may not be impressed with that information, but uh, you know those people that aren't impressed will say, "Hey, can you figure this problem out?" And they'll be like, "Well, leave me alone. I'm going to go back to my Netflix." But uh, anyways, all jokes aside here, this is a bit of a trick question. Okay. Now you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, you're going to see here in a second. Okay. And it has to do with this part of the problem. Okay. This 4X part of the problem. So I think uh, a lot of you out there might find this uh, interesting, especially if you had a tough time uh, getting the answer. Okay. So let's get into the solution. So the first thing is we have this lovely problem. And anytime you're dealing with a math problem, I always like to use the rule of three. Read the problem at least three times. So you can fully assimilate all the information and understand the question. Okay, now of course, I read the question to you, and if you didn't understand uh, what an elevator's capacity is, well, now you do. Okay, so we have this situation. An elevator can fit this many people, 4x. And again, we have this variable going on, so I'm thinking definitely have to use some algebra. But... Um, Anyways, uh, an elevator can fit 4x people and moves 176 people and 22 trips. What's the elevator, elevator's capacity? Now, once we understand the question, uh, what we want to do is try to model this situation. And a good way to model anything is to come up with a kind of a sketch or some, uh, some sort of figure or table of values. Now, of course, some problems are uh, easier to do than others. And the great thing about math is you can be creative. You can do it whatever particular way. So I'm going to kind of you know, sketch out the situation, All right? So we have 176 people right here. And let's suppose here's my building with my elevator. And it took 22 trips to move maybe uh, these folks up to maybe the fifth floor, okay? All I know is that this elevator took 22 trips to move 176 people and it fits, okay? It can move, uh, it, this elevator um, fits 4X people at a time, right? So I'm gonna go back to the problem and we're going to reference this right here. An elevator can fit 4x people, okay? So that is, in fact, uh, what we're looking for, right? That is the capacity. All right, so what do we do with this information? Well, we're going to have to take this and come up with a strategy. So what can we do here? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the next step. So we have our model, okay? And we're trying to determine what is the amount of people uh, that fit in this elevator per any one trip. Okay, now we were told the elevator fits 4x people, but uh, what can we do with this information? Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, you don't even need algebra. Now, some of you are going to get very upset at me. You're going to be like, Mr. YouTube Math Man, why did you do this for me? I was doing all kinds of crazy algebra. 
well, listen, you know, I didn't tell you it was an algebra word problem in the beginning, but I did kind of fool you with this variable. Anyways, let me show you the solution here. So if we moved 176 people, okay, and it took us 22 trips, well, how many people did we carry per trip? Well, just take 176 divided by 22. Well, eight people, okay, we took eight people per trip. Okay, now, of course, we're going to assume that we filled up the elevator. We must have filled up the elevator completely because 8 times 22 is 176. So what is the question? Okay, the question is, what is the capacity okay, of the elevator? In other words, how many people can the elevator fit at any one time? Well, the answer is hopefully obvious. It's 8 people. Okay, 8 people is, in fact, the... Um, capacity of the elevator. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what some of you may have done, and that's okay uh, if you did this because this is a little bit of a uh, trick question, but uh, it's good for you to practice dealing with questions like this because oftentimes in mathematics, the information hidden inside of a math question is there purposely to kind of confuse you. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. No, I wouldn't stop this lovely video uh, unless it was that important for me. Okay. Now it's important for me because it's important for me to reach my goal, which is to help as many people in math as possible. And if you want to show support for my channel, this is the way to do it because it tells the YouTube algorithm, Hey, this guy, you know, uh, person is doing something right on YouTube. So I'm going to push out his content to more people that are interested in math or looking for math help. And that's why I, uh, uh, you know, basically the reason why I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, that's a long time. And I have well over 2000 videos. That's a lot of content, but to me, it's a labor of love. I'm very passionate about what I do. And, um, anyways, all you need to do is just hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button to show your support. It really does help me out. Thanks so much. Now let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Now we already answered the question, but you got to be careful, you know, by doing this. Okay. So in other words, we're looking at this information and you're fixated by this 4X. Again, a very, you know, uh, kind of uh, tactic used by math teachers and test makers. They're like, all right, we're going to put something in that is extraneous, that is there you know, to confuse someone, right? So like, well, if it's 4X people, how many people per trip? Well, we already have the answer. It's eight people. But some of you might uh, kind of get, you know, fixated on uh, this X. So maybe we need to solve for X. All right, we can certainly solve for X because if the elevator fits 4X people, okay, well, how many people does it fit? Well, it fits eight people. This is, in fact, eight people is, in fact, the capacity. That is the question. But some of you may have went off on this kind of tangent and set up this equation, 4x is equal to 8, x is equal to 2. And that is great, and that is fantastic. And that would have been excellent if the question here was to solve for x. Okay. Of course, that is not the question. The question is, hey, what is the elevator's capacity? All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Some of you might be upset at me. Some of you might be saying, I'm going to unsubscribe uh, to your channel because you got me all confused with this simple little problem. Well, listen, uh, those of you that, you know, like an interesting challenge, you know, uh, this is, again, a kind of classic type of setup in many uh, different math exams. Now, uh, if you are not a math student, okay, maybe you've uh, been out of school for many, many years, and you just like doing mathematics. Matter of fact, maybe you want to rebuild your math skills. You got to check out my new course. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, it's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay. And it's specifically designed for people who might be interested in rebuilding all the math skills that they lost. Now you might be saying, why do I want to do that? I hate it, you know, school and learning math. Well, maybe some of you are interested and just kind of, you know, doing something productive with your time. Well, this particular course starts off with uh, arithmetic, basic math. I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some probability and, and statistics. So it has a lot of practical value. It's self-paced. And uh, for those of you out there that didn't maybe do so well in math in school, and maybe wondered, maybe it was that one teacher that wasn't the best or for whatever situation, and you just want to prove to yourself that you can do uh, math, well, this is the perfect course for you uh, as well. Because if you had a tough time as a young person learning mathematics, 
that is very common. You cannot judge your ability or, or your potential to do well in math by how well you did in school. I can almost guarantee you you'll be uh, fantastic at math because you have the discipline and the work ethic and the focus. But uh, anyways, if you're interested in relearning, that is the course uh, for you. You'll find links to all my courses, for the, at least my main courses, in the description. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.